Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash, the one to the apostles, the bishop and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations unto the elect, which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior is Yahweh Shai. And they're the power of the Israelites. And today they will be the so called Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Native Americans. And also, you speckled bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and bloodline is back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson. The Lord will is edifying and exhorting. And um, what you see on the screen is um, a, a, a song from back in the day, The Impressions, you know, Curtis Mayfield. <clears throat> and there's a song called Keep On Pushing. All right. And that's basically what this lesson is going to be about. Let me just grab a few scriptures, you know, because it's one thing in this truth, man. We have to keep on pushing. Right. Let me get a scripture. No matter what we're going through in our life, we must keep on pushing, man. All right, <clears throat> the Lord has allowed us, all right, in his house, in the courts of Yahweh Shimei Awashai, he gave us his knowledge. And no matter what we're going through, okay, we still have a mission. And we're here to exalt Yahweh Shimei Awashai. Okay, remember Yahweh Shimei Awashai, he's in control of everything on this earth, big or small. Okay, every single detail. It's orchestrated. It happened through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And remember, situations can change overnight, right? But it say, Sirach 26 and 4. It say, whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward the Lord, and we know heart is your mind, okay? The inner man, right? He be worth, the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word for heart is love, right? It says, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful continent, okay? So, yeah, you know, <clears throat> sometimes our outward situation might, you know, be the best. But at the end of the day, guess what? The Lord gave us his truth. He gave us a portion of his spirit. He gave us faith. And we, we're here to exalt you. How about Shimei Abishai? <clears throat> Remember, okay, we always go into it, especially for you new brothers coming to the faith. Okay, you're gonna go through certain temptations. But it says Sirach 2 and 1, it said, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And the word temptation goes into it, right? Let's just grab it. We have to keep these things in mind, man. And remember, as it is written. The scriptures say we've been punished less than our iniquities deserve. So at the end of the day, the things that we're going through in our life, remember, this is all judgment from the Heavenly Father. How about Shimei Awashai? But we have a lively hope because at the end of all this, our punishment, right? We're hoping to be saved and delivered from the destruction that's going to be right here in Babylon the Great. You see? And something we don't even deserve. But yet, Yahweh Shimei Awashai has placed us in this ministry. And now, as the hopeful elect, we hope to endure to the end. To receive that reward and that crown. Right? And not many people can say that. Not many people understand the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son named Yahweh Shai. You see? Those things are gifts. Okay? Remember, it is written also, it said, Wisdom is not manifest unto many. But the Lord has manifested himself unto us, man. Okay? And his truth is no cakewalk. Right? It's no cakewalk. If it was a, a easy, everybody would do it. But just like the Lord told Paul that he was a chosen vessel and the Lord must show him many things he must suffer for his name, well, guess what? When we came into when the Lord called us to this truth and chose us, guess what? We had to prepare our soul for temptation also, man. This is the word temptation. It's an act of enticing someone to sin, right? Because you're going to have uh, uh, that old man, right? Because this flesh is wicked. 
inherently wicked, man. Okay, this is the main deliverance we need uh, uh, deliverance from. This body of death, as Paul called it. Because why? This, the flesh is adverse to the spirit. Okay, the, the scriptures say the, the spirit and the flesh is always at war, one against another, man. The Lord promised the elect, okay, new bodies. And in those new bodies, the spirit and the body is going to be in one, man. Straight unity. Spiritual powers. Okay? No sickness, no tears. The body won't weigh down the mind. Going to have clarity of mind, man. Perfect into that new covenant the Lord also promised. Right? Not being able to go off anymore, man. No wicked thoughts. Everything perfect, man. Head to toe, perfect, mind perfect, pleasing your how about me outside at all times, and that's part of our hope, man. Right? But it's a an experience or state of being tempted. But this is what I wanted. It's a to feel, try out. Okay, so we're being tried, man. And guess what? The Lord has who? Satan, the tempter, to try us, man. Okay? To see if we truly uh do we truly love the Lord. And that's why we go through certain situations, man. Let me get this in Sirach 4. Okay? That's why as it is written also, it said, We're all like getting get understanding. You know, brothers didn't have women, they came in the truth. Lost a woman. Brothers was making a certain amount of money when they came in the truth. Now you're reduced to living check to check. Brother probably had a certain living situation for him. Now you have a, a total different situation going, you know, so forth and so on, man. Things change when you come into this truth. But we have to remember that trusting in your how about Shemi Shai, he knows best. And the Lord's going to cut things off and he's going to add things in our life that he sees as profitable for us. Okay? We just have to trust the Lord. But it says, Sirach 4 and 17, for at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways. And bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. And being this truth is a discipline, man. Okay? We have to have discipline. It takes discipline to study. It takes discipline to, 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 to uh, tame the flesh. You know, cut things off. Examine ourselves. We, we have to be truthful with ourselves. All right? It's saying... Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Now, she is talking about wisdom. The Lord don't lay his hand suddenly on no man. And we're, being, we're always being tried out every day, as it says in Job. The Lord is always trying us, man. Okay? We're going to pass some tests. We're going to fail some tests. But we damn sure want to be passing more than we failing. You know, learning from our mistakes. Because as it is written also, it said, A just man falls seven times, but rises up again. But a wicked man falls into mischief. We're not going to be totally perfect until we get those new bodies, man. And that's what we're yearning for. Okay? So, yeah, we're in this truth. And we're going to constantly be tried. You're going to go through different situations. But one thing, keep on pushing. Keep glorifying your Yahweh Shem Al Vashai. And one thing I've seen, you know... From my time in this truth, you know, I haven't been in the truth that long. But one thing I've seen is I could tell when a brother's in a good mood, you know, he on fire. He he quoting scriptures. He, he want to break bread. He doing his videos, right? But I could also tell when a, when a brother is going through hard times. You know, he ain't really in the spirit. You know, he's low. He depressed. He ain't doing no videos, you know, and that shouldn't be so, man. And we all go through the ups and downs because it's just part of life. It's part of this, this walk and this truth. But we have to stay consistent, man. That's why I read that Sirach 26 and 4. Whether rich or poor, having a good mind towards the Lord, we will rejoice at all times. With a cheerful countenance, man, remembering that we've been given a gift that the Lord and many have not been able to see, man. Let me get that right quick. Okay, having this knowledge and this truth, this is the true riches. 
Okay? How many people can say that they actually are serving the Lord? How many people can actually say they understand the mind of the Lord? Remember, the Lord called us friends because he's revealed the Heavenly Father's plans unto us. That's heavy, man. Think about the people who come up on the line or they watch the videos and they scoff and they can't even receive the word. Even if you break it down to the lowest common denominator, they still can't get it. But guess what? We can see it. And the Lord called us blessed for that, man. Right? It's Matthew 13, 16. It's in Red Our Lord, Yahweh Shah speaking. It said, But blessed are your eyes, for they see. In your ears for they hear. We understand the truth, man. When you watch the apostles or the elder brothers, the elder bishops, you know, or any other brother that's speaking this truth, and you're able to receive the message, and even at times add on to it, do a lesson of response to it, you know, guess what? Call her lie on lie, and how about you, was shy. That was your gift and part of your bag that you was able to receive that, man. See, remember the prophets are old are back on this earth today. And they're learning and being brought in their pure remembrance by men. But guess what? Whatever we receive, remember the Lord has drawn it. Uh, he's divided it by a lot. He's gave every man their portion. So if you could receive it, you know, it was yours anyway. It was just set up for the Lord to, for us to learn through men <clears throat> that stirred up that gift that was already in us, man. <clears throat> and Lord, Widow, as King David prayed in Psalm 51, the Lord keeps that Holy Spirit of truth upon us. You see? But the Lord called us blessed, man. It says 17, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. And guess what? We know what the MOTB is, man. To us, it's plain as day. Why? Because Yahweh Shimei Awashai has revealed it unto us. Here it is in 2024. You still have these Israelite camps who claim to be woke, and yet their doctrine is flawed. They're missing something. You see? But those of us of the whole four elect, we have a true hope, man. So don't look at the outward. Uh, uh, circumstances of, of what we going through Because we was already told That we are going to go through these things man Okay Wisdom is going to try us man Rightfully so You thinking how about Shimei Awashai Is going to give a crown to just anybody man Even though it's already set up In the spirit and it's predestined But guess what The Lord has a, this. This is his movie this is the most highest movie. He's has things going to play out how it plays out, man. We have to walk in faith and endure. Okay? Point blank, period, man. No matter what, we got to serve you. How about Shimei Awashai? And guess what? He'll fight for us. Let me get that. Sirach 4 and 28. It says, strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. So no matter what we're going through in our life, Akim, to myself first and foremost, <clears throat> this is one of my favorite scriptures until you Akim out there. You know? Hey, sometimes you're going to be high, sometimes you're going to be low in the spirit, man. But one thing the Lord has allowed me to, to understand, okay? And this is from my personal experience. No matter what state I've been in, the Lord always allowed me to constantly pray to him. He stayed on my mind. Stayed going to the land. Stayed breaking bread. Hitting class with the Akim. Still doing my lessons. Still reading. Studying. No matter if I had money or didn't have money. Had a car or didn't have a car. And that's why I love the scriptures so much. You see? So, yeah, you might be going through some Akim out there, right? But guess what? There's no temptation that's taking you as common to man. Now, in fact, let me get that. Because it says something in Peter's, right? And trust me, you're not the only one going through it. Every man that comes into this truth is being is, is chastised, man. 
Okay? Everybody gets chastised. If you don't get chastised, then as the scriptures say in Hebrews, you're a bastard. Right? The thing is, don't let that bitterness eat you up. Don't let Satan play with your mind. And, oh, I'm the only brother. Nobody knows what I'm going. Don't get into that spirit because that's off. No, every man that comes in his truth, as it says, every son the Lord loveth, he chasteth. Okay? And guess what? If you have the elect, when the Lord chasten you, you're going to get corrected and get better. And you're going to yield the peaceable fruit in the end. You're going to bring forth the works of righteousness, man. So it's all part of the Lord's process of how he purges his men. Remember, you have a shower is made perfect through what? Sufferings. Okay? The Lord's preparing us to go through a trial, that, a test that, this, that we've never been through before, man. That we at the end. After this is the kingdom forevermore, man. Right? So fuck that war is me spirit, man. We got the truth. And remember, let me, let me get this right quick. I know I'm all over the place a lot. Man. But, you know, that's how the spirit is sometimes. Okay? So why do you have our shimmy out shy? Remember this. It says... Sirach 11 and 21. The white Yehav Hashem Shai. It says. Marvel not at the works of sinners. But trust in the Lord. And abide in thy labor. See we have to abide in the Lord man. We can't. Hey, the scripture said. Make not haste in time with trouble. That's all part of the test man. A lot of guys fall out because they say. Oh man I ain't coming to truth to suffer. Wait a minute. You ain't read the, the fine print. Did you not listen to what the teachers and the men who came before you, who who have, who have went through it, have the experience and are still going through things? Were you not instructed about when you come to see the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation? We still have to abide in thy labor, man. Okay? It's safe, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. Remember... Situations can change. Remember, how about Shimei Al-Shai? He's in control. Man, fell, let me get this. From morning to noon, I think. Let me see. It should be in Sirach. Bear with me. I know it's in Sirach. Just bear with me. Yup, the Wadi Havashi Mount Shah. It's Sirach 18. And uh, I started uh, 24. At the end of the day, man, we shouldn't focus on. Now, of course, you know, we pray to the Lord. We want our daily bread. We don't, as the scripture says in Proverbs 30, we don't want too much where we deny the Lord. But we don't want too little to the point we'll take the name of the Lord in vain. So we pray to the Lord for food that's sufficient for us, man. All right? With food and raiment, we must be content. Okay? It's just part of the, the trial and tribulation of being in the truth, man. You're going to have ups and downs. All of us. Right? That's a guarantee. And we're the only, like the apostles say, we're the only ones at Great Millstone that really talks about it, man. You got these other camps, they always talking about prosperity and this, that, and the third. Yes, it's a beautiful thing coming back to knowing who we are. It's a very beautiful thing. But guess what? Remember, we went off. And the Lord said he would correct us by measure. And every brother's measure is, of correction is different. You might not have a woman. The next brother might have a woman. You might have a woman that you might not have no kids. The next brother might have a woman and kid. It's all It all balances out whatever the Lord has seen fit for that man. All right? So no one's hell is more than the other. The Lord's the judge and every, all his judgments are right. It's perfect. Right? But it's Sirach 18, 24. It says, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. So at the end of that day, man, remember, it said in 2nd Edges, the 14th chapter. It said, hasten to flee from these times because greater evils are going to be done than thou hast seen. You can already see through the judgments that's going out through the earth, man. I live here in Chicago. You can already see it's going to be a rough winter, man. The, this this last couple of months of this 2024 is going to be rough, man. 
Remember when the whole four years Jake was trouble. And you could see the Lord brewing up everything. He's stirring that pot up good, man. Things can kick off at any moment. Right? 25, it says, When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger. And when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. So we always want to have a balanced mind state. Never get too high, never get too low. Keeping things in proper perspective, man. Once again, you're going to have money and sometimes you're not going to have money. It's a balance, right? Paul even talked about how he had to learn to be a, to abound and to be abased. He had to learn that. So we're going to experience being broke. <laughs> we're going to experience being in need. We're going to experience having money and helping others. We're going to feel both, right? But always remember this, 26. From the morning until the evening, the time is changed and all things are soon done before the Lord. So the Lord can change our, our situation just like that on a sudden, man. And it's all a test. Once again, you done had men that fell out the truth because they was like, man, I'm tired of suffering. I could have stayed in the world and suffered. He didn't, they, that person didn't understand what he was involved in. Okay? That's why I say with all I get and get understanding, man. And just because we're poor doesn't make... Hey, man, fella, let me get this. And told it. And I'm going to close out. All right? Let me just sow my spirit, you know. Just want to put it out there, man. For myself and for you, I came out there. Because, you know, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. Okay? The Lord take us through roads. He take us through, through trials. And we're always being tried, man. But it's all for our betterment. If we truly trust in your how about shame our shy, well, guess what? He knows best. If we don't have something, it's for our betterment. And remember, the Lord wants us to have everything, man. So it's not like he don't want us to have it. Remember, your how shy said, fear not, little flock, for it's your father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. What the hell? That's a dude. Salakia for that. I ain't even put hey Amen. That's a <laughs> Salakia. But remember the scripture said, Yeah, I wish I said, Fear not, little flock, for it's your father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So the Lord wants us to enjoy the earth. He wants us to enjoy life. It's just right now, right? We have a job to do. So he's gonna, yeah, and, and sometimes the Lord throw a little bone here and there, right? But remember, we still in punishment, man. We're prisoners to your how we're shy at the end of the day, man. And we have to always keep that in perspective. Right? So we can't look at these people that's flourishing and all that. We're not here to do that, man. And through proper understanding, that comforts us. You know? Remember, all this hard work we're doing, the Lord, he's not forgetful, uh, he's not forgetful to forget our labor and love. So we got to keep on pushing, man, no matter what. But it's a Tobit 421. And we should be praying to the Lord for, to, for that type of spirit to keep to keep moving forward to endure. Right? Tobit 4 and 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor. For thou hast much wealth, if thou fear the Most High, and depart from all sin, and do that which is pleasing in his sight. And what the Lord say to the foolishness of preaching, he's pleased with that, man. Okay? We're serving the Lord, man. Those of us of the whole four leg, hey, we doing what we got to do. We ain't lifting our hands to no strange gods. You know, we're fighting. We're, hey, we're fighting, man. I know you all came out there fighting. Keep fighting. Keep on pushing, man. And don't let the Satan fuck with your mind and think that I'm the only brother going through this, man. Nobody knows my pain, man. You know that song, nobody knows. Nah, man, all the brothers are going through the same thing, man, in different ways. Every brother has their... Um, their uh, measure of chastisement. Okay? But it say First Peter 5 and 8, Be sober, be vigilant, see? Because your adversary with the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And Satan's always looking for that, that weak spirit, man. You think Satan gonna take a break on it? No, he's gonna come pounce on it. Alright, so we got to stay vigilant, man. We got to watch. Remember, we're in a spiritual war. We don't fight against flesh and blood. But principalities, 
spiritual wickedness in high places, man. But the Lord has gave us his spirit to combat these wickedness. You see? Verse 9. Whom resist their fast in the faith, see? And through faith we can conquer anything, man. And guess what? Faith is a gift. As it is written, it said, all men have not faith. Everybody don't have faith, man. But guess what? You do. We do. Right? It say, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So everybody's going through it, man. Okay? Everybody's going through it. Just keep on pushing. The Lord can change the situation on a, on a sudden, man. That's nothing. That's easy work for the Lord. But it's all a trial. It's all a test, man, of our faith. Okay? There's all type of accounts you can read how the widows got fed. They didn't know what they were going to do. Through the famine, the Lord fed the elect. All type of situations, man. So at the end of the day, how about Shemi Al-Shah? He's in control, man. And our job is to what? To continue to believe and to abide in our labor, man. No matter what. And let the Lord take care of it. At the end of the day, he's in control. So just as Yahweh shot submitted to the will of the Heavenly Father, we're to do so also, man. Because at the end of the day, he knows best. So Lord will just let some edifying and exhorting. Keep pushing, Akim, no matter what. We must keep pushing. So Lord will let us edify and exhort and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakakwadash. Shalom, Kwame Asharala, to the elect.